gotta clean your guys' bin out. You guys need to go eat some hoppers. Yeah. Rotten babies. Rotten babies. Hey guys, it's Christina with the Geocache family and welcome back to our channel. I am out here working in the greenhouse. Um, it is wicked hot. I am doing some major pruning back of these tomatoes on the lower levels to get them to continue branching up um, and for airflow. Uh, we are finding that when we turn off the fans and cooler at night, if we don't get out here before nine, um, it is already 90 to 100 degrees out here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through and prune everybody up um, for as long as I can until I cannot take the heat anymore and, um, and then come back out tonight when it cools back down. Uh, there is so much happening out here. I honestly cannot believe that in our first season greenhouse growing, having no, no experience in a greenhouse but lots of experience growing, um, that we pulled this off. Um, we are in the throes of getting the business started. Uh, I applied for my business license. Um, I talked to the city, well, to a consultant who said, because I'm outside of city limits, I don't have to have the city license. And um, that's great news. Uh, so other than getting my nursery license and my agricultural licenses, um, everything is going well. Uh, the daughter, the oldest daughter, is working on uh, updating the website so that um, it more accurately represents what we are doing now. Uh, in the past, it was all art, uh, and now we are going primarily uh, farm stuff for, for a while, um, and then art on the side. Um, art, I think we will focus on in the winter uh, when our joints are really bad and we can't uh, do as much uh, out here. With that being said, though, we do have heaters in this greenhouse, and so uh, that may change. So anyway, we grow as we go, as our mantra states, and uh, we're just going to keep testing and see what we can do uh, in the hopes of a Mother's Day grand opening um, for at least seedlings of peppers and tomatoes. But um, we'll see. Let me show you what everything looks like right now, um, as I am sweating to death already. Um, my sauna <laughs> is at work. All right, so I'm working in this first uh, bed, basically, weeding and uh, pruning. Uh, so I actually kind of did this backwards because uh, I started down at that end, and then I needed the stool thing I'm sitting on. So I walked down here to get it, <laughs> and then I said, ah, I'll just start down here. So um, I will go through and start back there and prune my way down. But uh, that is... A little corner. Uh, these are my sweet cherry. Uh, I think they're carnations. Yeah, carnations. Um, and they are looking so pretty. Uh, so neat how it grows up on that stalk and then the stalk is what shoots up the, the little flower heads. Very, very dianthus. You can tell they're in the same family. <laughs> but uh, oh, I love them. They're just so pretty. Uh, here's the tomato I'm working on. These are my oldest daughter's favorite uh, lemon boys. And uh, like I said, I'm just pulling down these uh, branches that are down. Uh, I had hoped to do a single stem, but I don't know. With food shortages and everything else, I decided to just go ahead and let them go. Um, I am testing the theory of when you have... Um, one come up in the armpit like this guy here okay so this is the original leaf that came out and then this is the one that comes up in the armpit this is the one that will produce another stalk that produces the fruit so i've been basically going and chopping these guys off so that they have more airflow and then letting the armpit one go because the armpit one will get the flowers so that way i still get a lot of um food, fruit production off of these guys, but I can still minimize the um, 
potentials for uh, mold and things to grow up in here. But um, as I was pruning these guys, I uh, saw what looked like a dandelion. And it's my saffron. Check this out. Look at the head underneath and then the little flower opens up on top. I'm curious to see if those open all the way up or if they stay kind of like an artichoke. Uh, first year growing them. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, I was just loving the texture of these seed heads, but oh my goodness, it makes me so happy. <laughs> and they're, they're doing quite well back there. So there was two different types that I mixed up. There was the one that was more of a medicinal um, organic one and then um, the other one was kind of a darker orange uh, I can't remember which one is which but they're both in there so we'll see what happens all right let me finish pruning these guys and then I can take you down the rest of the beds these squash plants are going nuts look at that that's a beaut that one died though and that one's dead well didn't get pollinated and these are all male flowers down here figures get all the male flowers <laughs> after the females are done babies babies get it get it babies tiny little thing oh these have been the noisiest babies out of all of my years of having chickens they do not stop making noises. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys are loud. Oh my, these glads are starting to uh, get their flower stalks. Ooh, and this alyssum smells so good. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this one's got color. Oh my goodness, you guys, you need to wait. I wonder if I can put these in the fridge until wedding time. Oh, they're all starting to... Look at this. Look at them. Eep. Oh, this is just amazing. In one year. One year I've done this. Well, not alone. It took my family, but in a year we've done this. Oh, it's amazing. We've been having to come out here and capture the big grasshoppers because they are being so destructive. Oh, and then when I get the other two going, <laughs> This is going to be fantastic. You guys are doing good work. It seems like it takes forever and then all of a sudden you have so much to deal with <laughs> that it feels overwhelming. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Even the front side is starting to catch up. I said we are sweating buckets so I think I'm going to harvest the chamomile otherwise known as chamomile what did you call it chamomile it's chamomile and then we're gonna call it um, break until it cools down <laughs> it's just too hot but um, 
So after getting those tomatoes that I was talking about earlier pruned, um, I had my dahlias and my elephant ear. Oh, I stood up too fast. Oh, my dahlias. They are getting munched from freaking grasshoppers out here. Um, so the kids caught two containers worth of them and fed them to the chickens. But there's my elephant ear coming up. Two rows. That's all I've gotten. Both sides. Oh. Ryland's adding a little bit more soil. Um, I'm not fond of this soil, so we are um, just going to use it out here, um, but not for soil blocking. And um, I got some other stuff I'm going to try. But, um, yeah, it's, I'm going to harvest that. And then my purple crown dianthus. And then some more tomatoes. Oh, and look at this Genovese. Oh, I love it so much. The borage is going nuts. It makes me sad that it is not filled with bees. We've got to get an opening cut so that they can get in here. Um, I want a door there that goes to that back section where the arm that moves the vent up there is. And I want to put bees back there because um, then they can just come through the door. But that'll be winter project or next year because this year was just seeing how everything grows. Well, look at those giant snapdragons back there. They're still doing great. The status is monstrous. The glads are starting to open. It's just beautiful. Oh, oh wait, second wind. Maybe the oldest is coming out to help. I know this one and I are sweating to death. Oh, that's pretty. It's a piece of mica. Yeah, nice. it was in the, the bag of fertilizer. Soil, yeah. Oh, I'm so sweaty. I hate being sweaty. Oh, it's the worst feeling in the world. Gross. Look at, look at those pears. Those are the biggest pear tomatoes I've ever had. Oh, look at these beautiful calendulas. Oh, they're so pretty. And my sunflowers are getting tall too. Oh, everybody's so mad. You'll get watered good tonight. All right, I'm going. I'm dying. I've got sweat everywhere. All right, so this one was just commenting about a random skill she gained as a child that's coming in so beneficial in here in the greenhouse because uh, these big grasshoppers are getting so damaging and the chickens love them and so she catches them very deftly because the rest of us suck at it she shakes the container and then she throws it out to the birds and they think it's the best day ever it's pretty fantastic <sighs> Einstein Go for him. <laughs> what is that? She's scared of it. Yeah, 
<laughs> She's making happy duck sounds. Yeah. Bahia. Bahia Jean. Zoichelin, come here. Come here. Bahia Jean, come. Zoichelin, come. Come here. I have treat. Do you want treat? Yeah, that's right. Do you want treat? That's what I thought. <laughs> come here. Here, let's come over here. Come in. Come in. Nope, bat mapes. But here, come here. But here. But here. But here. Come here. Come here. Come in. Come on, good girl. Come in. Come on, good girl. Come on, come in here. Come on. There you go. I know. Go get it. All right, all gone. He's all gone. There's no more. See? You, you ate it all gone. Good girls. I love you guys. I love you. Good boy, Owen. Did you get all the pieces? Yeah. All right, you guys need to stop knocking my broom down. Oh. Look at how smart you are. You know that's a new toy, don't you? Yep, she knows it. <laughs> are you gonna get it? <laughs> it's kind of a weird shaped toy, so she doesn't know how to pick it up. It doesn't have stuffing in it, because I'm sick and tired of picking fluff up. Yeah, because they get gutted so easily.